Week 14 is still underway in MGN Sports. We have the Chicago Bears coming into Week 14, riding the six-game win streak, hosting the L.A. Rams, who are trying to fight their way into the playoffs. Not a chance for Mitchell Trubisky under center. 25-yard touchdown pass right here to lead his team to a 28-18 victory over the Rams. The Bears improved to 10-3. The Rams dropped to 6-6-1, and but... They still lead the NFC West. As you can see, they are still in it. Uh, but you got the Arizona Cardinals who are right on their heels. Ain't no telling how the NFC West division is going to turn out. The Cowboys still sit at the number two seed after they lose to the Philadelphia Eagles at 9-4. Tampa Bay dropping to the New Orleans Saints in Week 14, but they still hold the number three seed. It's going to be interesting to see how the NFC playoffs look going into week 15. All right, other games around the league. We had the Denver Broncos barely pulling it off against the San Francisco 49ers, 18 to 15. Denver holding that number three seed at 10 and three. Jimmy G uh, went 13 for 21, 256 yards. No touchdowns, had two interceptions. All right, let's stay in the AFC West. We had the Kansas City Chiefs getting it done at home, 31 to five, improving to eight and five. And Patrick Mahomes, 10 for 16, 207 yards, one touchdown, one interception. Lamar Jackson just couldn't get it going. Five interceptions in this game, and it's just been horrible for the Baltimore Ravens all season. As we look at the new AFC playoff picture, Denver Broncos approved a 10 and 3. New England Patriots getting it done against the Miami Dolphins. They hold on to that number four seed. Uh, but what's really interesting is the Chargers now sit at the number six seed in the wild card after beating the Cincinnati Bengals in week 14. All right, so 12 teams can get in, but the other 20 teams look forward to the offseason, and in the offseason, they look forward to the draft. Let's bring in MGN insider Daniel Bowles on who he thinks the Jets will pick number one overall. If the Jets get the number one pick, they're going to go with Lee Peralta out of Notre Dame because they had one of the worst rushing defenses in the league this year. He is the top left end in the NFL draft this year, and he is also a run stopper, and I think that's someone that the Jets need on their team right now. Yeah, they finished 28th in rush yards allowed. Just can't do that. All right, so the 49ers looking to get the number two overall pick. Who do you got? I'm going to say they take the six foot one cornerback, Antonio Watts of Wisconsin. The 49ers got passed on a lot this year, and this league is a passing league. Richard Sherman can't do it by himself. Both of these guys not even top 10 in the draft. Um, Lee Peralta's at number 11 projected and Antonio Watson's at number 12 projected but the other 10 don't see being useful in either San Francisco or in New York. Yeah, I mean, you got Sam Darnold, uh, who you just drafted last season, so it would make sense for both of these teams to bulk up on that defensive side of the ball. All right, man, week 14 is almost in the books. We got week 15 slowly approaching. The AFC number six seed is practically up for grabs, man. The Chargers currently sit at the number six seed after beating the Bengals in week 14. The Chiefs are 5-1 and one at home this season. The LA Chargers are 4-2 on the road. Hey, man, it's going to be a game to watch. Last time these two teams met, the Chiefs beat them 27 and 24. Definitely a game to watch. Make sure you guys keep it locked on Facebook and YouTube backslash MGN Sports. Get our league news at MGNSports.info.